Hello everybody. I'm Cheol Choi, the CTO of i r u k a n Company in Korea. Today, I would like to talk with you about the types of screw elements and their configurations. Screw configurations. What is screw configurations? Uh, screw element configuration is very necessary to achieve stable plastic compound product with good shear effect, dispersion, and mixing of raw materials. Different types of uh, screw elements have uh, different shapes and uh, different functions so that work differently per shape. In extrusion compounding process, it is very necessary to select correct screw elements and put them at the right position. Okay, now uh, we uh, see screw zones and their functions. That, uh, first zone, we have uh, intake zone, the material comes in, and uh, we have a conveying zone. which transfer the material to the, the melting zone and there is melting zone is uh, melting the raw materials and uh, after melting we have uh, a natural venting zone here and the uh, gas uh, is preliminary go out from the extruder and uh, after then there is a mixing zone mixing zone is very net, um, important zone that uh, we need to mix the material very well in this zone And after then, uh, good mixing uh, material and have uh, 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 bent lots of, uh, um, I'm not lots of, I mean the, the remaining, uh, the exhausting uh, gases out from this uh, bending zone. And there is a metering zone to, uh, the, to make the, the material out of extruder. Okay, you can see the detail here, uh, what I explained uh, uh, previously. Okay, I, um, now I want to uh, talk with you about the uh, uh, screw element types. And there are many kinds of screw elements. And there is conveying, the, the, the most simple one is conveying screw element. Conveying screw element is pushing the material to, uh, to pull the side. And uh, mixing screw element is to mix the material together. And kneading is uh, uh, like a... Um, we need the, the flowers and, and um, uh, something, so we mix the, the material together. And then transfer screw element is uh, also the change the, the, the types of uh, uh, screw element. This, this element to that element, we uh, need to uh, uh, some intermediate uh, screw element. It is transfer screw element. And deep conveying screw element is uh, special elements like uh, SK, which is uh, have a very deep. Um, uh, actually, it has lots of volumes inside, so can push lots of material uh, into the uh, extruder inside. And um, screw element for side feeding is also special uh, uh, elements. And there are one ply, two ply, three ply element like one ply, two ply. Uh, three ply elements like this, and uh, some special other special screw elements like this. This uh, the the screw element very looks very special. Um, yeah, and actually this is these are the 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 kneading blocks and uh, mixing uh, screw elements we call. It. Um, screw element for uh, feeding zone um, is uh, uh, we need to think about uh, how to increase the feeding quantity. Um, these elements, uh, one plate folding element, one plate SK element, and uh, one plate shovel element, and uh, there are three two plates. Two plates we are normally uh, use two plate elements. And uh, we need to know how to feed much and how to uh, increase the capacity and something like that. Um, in order to increase the compounding quantity, especially for lower, lower bulk density low, uh, low materials, it is very necessary to use deep and wide pitch conveying screw element like uh, SK, like uh, SK element. Something uh, like uh, this side, uh, more uh, internal Um, volume basically so we can increase the, the feeding quantity inside and uh, some special special design feeding screw elements can increase the output rate and of the raw material uh, like uh, with the silica which is uh, has very uh, low bulk density so that it is very difficult to feed inside 
Okay, the, uh, we continue about the Peding, uh, uh, Peding John school element and uh, like a single ply, single ply shovel element. It is uh, conveying efficiency is highest, uh, how, and uh, the free volume is medium, and dispersion and compactness is uh, uh, medium. Its application is uh, every, we can use this uh, everywhere basically. And uh, like uh, uh, two flight SK screw element, it has uh, uh, high conveying uh, efficiency, high pre volume, and high dispersion and compactness. This is uh, uh, well, this can be well used for the powder and powder mixed with pellets. It's um, like a uh, um, talc, PP talc or something. We need to use uh, this kind of screw element for peeling John. And uh, these things that uh, it has a uh, bigger, bigger, uh, uh, part, I mean, bigger volume, uh, bigger feeding volume, and uh, uh, this kind of things used for the feeder usually. Okay, and uh, now I'm I'd like to tell you about the, the melting John screw element. Melting John screw element, we know uh, uh, 30 degree, 40 degree, uh, 60 degree, 90 degree, and we sometimes use uh, 45 degree reverse um, in the backward, backward kneading block. And uh, there is one special kneading block, uh, 3 kb kneading block. This is uh, very useful for, um, I mean, very precise kneading. Okay, in uh, melting zone, we need to know how to melt. Um, uh, most important thing is uh, that um, the melting process of corrotating twin screw extruder is different from other kinds of screw uh, extruder, like a single screw extruder and also the counter rotating uh, twin screw extruder is different in, in melting, basically. So, corrotating twin screw extruder melt polymer majorly using mechanical shear energy to heat up raw materials instead of the the melting uh, from the from the, the, the electrical heater so the, this means that the uh, mechanical shear energy uh, transfer uh, changes to heat energy like uh, um, uh, giving the shear to the, the shear energy to the material so it may, the, the mechanical me mechanical energy change to heat energy then uh, melt material um, to mix and uh, melt, melt and then mix. The screw combination is uh, um, different according to raw materials such as polymers uh, specificate, melting temperature, melt uh, viscosity and size and other pillars shape and the size. Depending on these uh, things that uh, we need to change the, the screw configuration different. Otherwise, we cannot have a good uh, melting and uh, mixing, basically. Okay, in the in this melting zone screw element, we have uh, um, different shapes of uh, kneading blocks like this, and uh, this is a kind of special kneading block. Um, yeah, some companies uh, uh, the patent make a patent with this shape of the elements, but uh, in this kind of elements, we have uh, uh, single parts of this kneading block, and uh, we make the different angle kneading block by um, for our special specific uh, materials. So this kind of kneading block is uh, the armor pores and uh, uh, I mean melting ability. Armor pores and crystal very high and mixing dispersion high and uh, shear uniformity very high. Yes, of course, um, but because the shape of this is uh, wide and uh, long, there is uh, no yeah yeah um, like uh, yeah, this kind of things can be high, but. One, one, there is one problem that because of this shape that uh, energy to uh, work in this, I mean, used for this kneading block is too high. So the motor should be high and uh, the, the metal should be um, very expensive and good. Okay, so other things that uh, we have for for kneading blocks is uh, armor pores. For the for the armor pores is uh, the melting is low, but the crystal uh, medium, 
And uh, uh, however, this is uh, this kind of uh, kneading blocks are easy to melt crystal crystal uh, polymers. And also, the, the reverse kneading block is work uh, is uh, rotating in reverse side, and uh, which is uh, good for the also for the crystal. And uh, 3 kb kneading block is uh, for uh, is uh, good for uh, amorphous and uh, the. Uh, amorphous polymer melting and uh, dispersion are uh, very high. So uh, used for the amorphous and uh, nine, 90 degree that uh, 90 degree kneading block. Uh, this is uh, this has uh, good for um, medium for amorphous and uh, good for crystal and uh, good dispersion and mixing. Um, this is uh, mainly used for the mixture melt and 90 degree kneading block is quite, quite versatile so uh, we can uh, talk later about this um, more precisely. Okay, and then uh, we now we uh, come to the, the most important zone, mixing zone, mixing zone uh, screw element. And uh, same as kneading zone, uh, I'm, same as uh, melting zone uh, screw element, we use uh, different type of uh, um, uh, no no the same type of uh, uh, same type of kneading blocks like this, and uh, we have uh, some special elements like this, and they have uh, different functions basically. So we need to think about how to mix. Mixing is the very um, very very important function of extruder. The, the purpose of the mixing um, uh, process of extruder is to mix raw materials very homogeneously. Kneading blocks and uh, some other special screw elements works um, especially for grass fiber and similar other uh, materials giving shear pores. Tooth shape elements have a special mixing effect in axis direction through the groups of the spiral pitches. This kind of screw element reduces the strong impact to pillars and prevent from the too strong shear direction mixing. What this means is that uh, the first one um, is a very general word that uh, it is very uh, important to mix the material very well. And the second one is a kind of specific um, the, the explanation about the, the long kind, the glass, something like glass fiber. Glass fiber is very easy to be broken, and because of this, that uh, if the the, the shear is too big, it's uh, broken, and eventually the mixing is better. But if the glass fibers <coughs> are broken too much, the the polymer should be, uh, I mean, less stronger than we expect. So, if we use this type of screw element, that uh, like uh, we give the, the material uh, which is non mixed well uh, goes in the through, through the group on the back, and uh, it is wet. The glass fiber wet with the more tendency to wet with the polymers, and then goes to the the, the metering zone uh, later. Uh, with uh, more wetting with the polymer, and uh, this kind of element are used for the uh, PP tark or something uh, lots of uh, the powder material inside, because sometimes uh, the powder is not well uh, mixed with the uh, material the, the polymers that uh, the uh, I mean un well, non mixed uh, the powder goes. Uh, through this group to the back backward and uh, there is more chance to mix with uh, uh, polymers later and uh, there are some uh, this shape of uh, um, the called kneading block something um, this is a kind of continuous mixing elements and this uh, when the material goes inside here that uh, it is the, the this, this shape of screw element rotates and more uh, give more possibility to mix together. Okay, so uh, uh, this uh, kind of special kneading block is very high to mix material and uh, good 
called uh, material like uh, talc and mica, something like that. It's very good to mix uh, the material together, this kind of powdery material together. And uh, we have the, normally we use uh, pearl kneading block. It's um, uh, good for the um, good for mixing and for general mixture and uh, uh, reverse kneading block. Uh, actually, this pearl kneading block itself is not good effect. But uh, when we use this with uh, uh, half size of uh, the reverse combing element, uh, the kneading effect. Uh, increase. However, without such kind of reverse things that reverse reverse combing element or reverse kneading block, the, this kind of uh, the, uh, this type of kneading blocks um, effectiveness is uh, quite limited. Okay, this uh, now uh, 90 degree uh, kneading block. It has uh, good dispersion, high dispersion, and uh, uh, this has uh, small some little function of distributive. I mean, uh, distributive mixing basically. So um, this gives the intensive intensive localized shear or dispersion of aromatic pigment. I mean. What I'm saying is this kind of thing uh, can uh, not disperse, I mean distribute the material uh, 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 each other, I mean small, agro I mean make a small agglomerated pigment. After then, uh, as we see in the previous page that we use this kind of, this kind of thing together and then uh, we can have uh, more dispersion and good mixing together. And uh, we have a uh, 3 kb kneading block. 3 kb kneading block is all, um, very good for the mixing. So, um, combiner is uh, is combining with uh, other other this type of uh, uh, kneading block and uh, also the the combining elements. We can have uh, good mixing, uh, combining these elements together. Okay, the, the the I continue the screw elements for mixing, and there are something the, like uh, the uh, tooth like uh, screw element, and also the, the needing um, the continuous mixing elements like this. As I uh, told you in previous page that uh, we are combining uh, these elements together with uh, these elements, that we can have very high uh, mixing. Basically, so um, if I make a, like a, like a something very powdery material, I add I add this kind of things first, and uh, have uh, we can I can have we can have uh, um, more wetting of pillars together together with uh, uh, polymers. After then uh, we um, sorry <laughs> sorry uh, we mix we mix the the material to uh, using uh, this kind of uh, the, the kneading blocks and then uh, and then finally uh, I uh, we uh, mix the, the material continuous with uh, this kind of screw element and then we can have a good dispersive mixing and good uh, uh, no no I mean uh, good distributive mixing and good dispersive mixing together and then like a PP talc or PP uh, PP mica or other uh, polyurethanes or other uh, things. Um, can be very uh, well dispersed inside, and uh, we can have good mixing. However, like uh, in case of uh, in case of uh, uh, the like uh, in case of uh, glass fiber, we use this kind of thing uh, element, tooth like a screw element, for better wetting of the the uh, glass fiber. And then uh, use uh, this kind of kneading blocks a little bit, and not to uh, not to break the the glass fiber much. And then uh, we shouldn't use this kind of uh, screw element for glass fiber. Basically, uh, otherwise this is very good for dispersive mixing and uh, has good good very very high uh, shear pulses. So it's uh, it, it, this. Uh, mix the, the material very intensively. Um, so uh, we need to um, make uh, the the complication of screw elements very uh, 
well and uh, well means that we need to think about the, the each functions we need to know uh, and we need to memorize the 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 functions of each screw elements well so um this uh, this is the the end of the end, end part of the, the my um presentation okay any um thank you very much for uh, watching uh, my presentation and uh, if you have any question uh, please feel free to contact us 감사합니다 thank you very much